Hey, Jared, how's it going? Good. Jared, I'm Dylan. I'm a student physical therapist, and I get to help you walk with a walker today. Is that okay if I help you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I understand you had a left posterior approach token arthroplasty this morning. Is that feel? How's your pain levels today? Or right now? It's okay. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so before we get up and walk, I'm going to show you a few different, or tell you a few different problems that we need to be aware of before you get up and start being a little more active. So with that posterior approach, there's three main things you need to worry about. One is we never want your torso to bend past 90 degrees, meaning I don't want you to bend forward past this horizontal line of the torso, and I never want that left hip to go past that line either. So the angle right here should always be less than less than 90 degrees. It should never go more than 90 degrees. Does that make okay. sense? The next thing you need to worry about is this hip should never cross the midline of your body. So that involves crossing the legs. Anything that's going to cause that foot to cross your right foot, you shouldn't do. So just consciously make sure you don't ever cross that leg across the midline. Okay. And then the last thing is those toes should always be in a straight line. So anytime you rotate your toe to the right or to the left, the hip is also moving in the socket as well. So maintaining a straight direction with those toes will maintain that hip right there in the socket as well. Okay. Just helping with the integrity of the surgery that, that the surgeon did this morning. Okay, so Walker, let me go ahead and make sure it's the right size for you real quick. Go ahead and put that wrist down for me. That is perfect. We want it right at the break of the wrist, or right at that, that hip. Go ahead, right there. So, what we're going to do first is go ahead and sit up. So what I need you to do is come up onto your elbows for me. We've got your gait belt on, your shoes ready to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to support this leg and you're going to pivot your body up to the edge for me. We're going to come right to the edge. Okay. Go ahead and shimmy forward for me. Right to the edge and I'll lower that leg down there. Perfect. Pain okay with that? Come up. Okay, so let me get this here in front of you. What we're going to do with that right side, being the side that's not as painful, you're going to use that right leg to push most of your weight up. So use the right arm and right leg to lean to that side, and you can race up here. Yep. And then push. And there you go. Perfect. Okay. So the sequence for this is you're going to use the walker first. So walker, this left leg or the involved side, and then the right side. Perfect. Walker. Perfect. So your partial weight bearing. So you can put just a, no more than 50% of your weight on that side. Doing good. Perfect. Okay, so let's now, we're going to turn toward the right. So toward the side that's not the surgery side. Same thing, make sure those toes stay straight. Perfect. Good. Doing okay? Uh-huh. Okay, now go toward that bed. Alright, go ahead and make another turn to your right. Alright, now this way you're going to go backwards. When you back up, you're going to go back with the right leg first, and then the left, and then bring the assistive device in. And make sure those legs touch. Perfect. So now, maintaining that angle again, we're going to sit down, use your right leg to lower, and then keep that leg out straight. Perfect. That feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and go back on your elbows there again. Okay, let's go ahead and pivot it back up onto the bed. So bring that leg up for me. You good? That feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. You done good? Hey Jared, how's it going? Good. I'm Dylan, I'm your student physical therapist today. I'm going to show you how to walk with the cane. Does that sound okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got the pain from your osteoarthritis in your right hip. So anytime you're going to use a cane, you want to use it on the opposite side of where you're having the pain. Okay. So in your case, it's going to be on the left side, and I've already got it situated so that it's set up to be used on the left side. Okay. Where you've got that flat side to close to your feet. So let me demonstrate for you real quick before you have you stand up what you're going to do. So we're going to teach you a three-point uh, three gait pattern. 
So with this being your injured side or your painful side, you're going to first go forward with the cane on your left, and then while putting pressure partially in there, you're going to come forward with that painful side, and then with the good side. Okay. And it's that pattern the whole time. Cane, uninvolved, involved, cane, uninvolved, involved. Okay. Make sense? Uh-huh. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. In order to stand up, an easy way that you can do that, where this is a quad-based cane, you can just let it sit right there, ready for you to go. So sit on the right side. Okay, so just push up with my hands here. Yep, so use your hands to push up. And you can use the, the side where there's less pain to put more of your weight on. And go ahead and stand up. Good, so grab that cane there. So now let's go forward. So cane, this and side. And this side. Yep, and then there you go. Okay, okay, perfect. So go ahead and take a left turn. We're gonna go up the stairs right there. So same thing, King, bring that around, good, good. All right, so what we're gonna do is take this cane and put it over there in that right hand. You're not gonna be using the cane much as your support right now, but I want you to use the rail. And so what you're gonna do, what I like to remind patients is that you always go up with the good, and down with the bad. Remember, good go to heaven, bad go to hell type of analogy. So you're going to take this, you're going to first go up with the good foot, putting pressure in that arm, and then, yep, bring up that other foot, and then fall with the cane. Perfect. So up with the good, perfect. And same thing up, and fall along. No pain with that. Nope. Okay, let me go ahead and slide past you here. And so we're going to do the same thing coming down. So I want you to, not the same thing, so go ahead and come toward the step there, yeah, perfect. So now, you're going to come down with the cane, and then down go to hell, good, sorry, good go to heaven, bad go to hell, so down, yep, yeah. and then get there, perfect. Just like that, does that feel okay? Okay, how's that feel? Good, good. Just go ahead and walk back to your bed over there. So cane, yeah, perfect. Look at that. Thank you. Good afternoon, Dylan. How are you doing? Good. Good. My name is Jared. I'm a student physical therapist. How's that hit feeling today? Good. Feeling pretty good, all things considered. Yep. Okay. Well, perfect. We're gonna get you out of bed, and then we're gonna go for a little walk. Does that sound good? Yep. Okay. Now I'm gonna make sure that I wash my hands here. So, there's three main things that you want to remember, and I'll explain them first before you get up, and then as we're going, I'll remind you of how that looks while you're actually walking, okay? So the first one is with that left hip, you do not want it to bend up to 90 degrees where that leg is at 90 with your torso. Now that comes in when you're standing like that, or when you're sitting down in a chair, sitting down in a chair, you're going to be at that 90 degrees. So that's something that you're going to want to avoid. Um, that includes as we're getting you up out of bed. So I'll explain that here in a minute. The next one is you don't want that left leg to cross the midline of your body. So I want it to just stay on its left side the whole time. Also, I want it to just point straight forward. I don't want it to turn out or in that place with the, hip, uh, the head of that bone. We don't want to disturb that incision. Okay? Alright, perfect. So you've got your shoes on already. So what I'm going to have you do is just push up onto your elbows. So you're sitting up a little bit, but not too much. You don't want to... Yeah, perfect. You don't want to get that 90 degree angle. Okay? Now I'm going to support this leg, keep it straight, and then I'll have you rotate and use that right leg, of course. Okay? And I'll have you scoot forward to the edge of the bed. Perfect. And that foot on the floor. Okay, perfect. We're gonna get this gate on you. How do you feel now? You're sitting up. Good. Good. No pain or anything in that hip? Nope. Good. Not at all. We got you enough pain meds then, huh? Oh yeah. Okay, does that feel snug? Uh, yeah. Okay. Right, bring the bridge, just walk her 
over. Now what I'm going to have you do is push up. You're going to use your right arm a lot, and then you can use your left arm. You're going to push away to your right side, and then use as much power as you can here on this right leg. You want to make sure that this left leg stays straight as you stand up. And I'll be here at your side to help you out as much as you need. Very good, very good. Now that we're here, I'm going to have you dangle this arm to your side. I just want to make sure that, okay, that's perfect. Hit pipe, right at the break of the wrist. Okay, so how the walker is going to work is you're going to go walker first, and then you're going to move this painful involved side next, and then the right, good. Just that pattern, walker, left, right. Very good. How does that feel? Great. Okay, we'll start turning. Right, we're going to have you turn to your right. Very good. Just nice and short steps, keeping that foot straight. Very good. side and then we'll start taking some steps backwards this time you're going to go with that lead with that right foot good okay okay now you're going to reach back with both hands to get that table keep this leg straight and I'll help keep the reminder here good okay I'll get the one right here now I'm going to help with that leg, and we're going to go back onto the bed. Very good. Get this gate belt off of you. Alright. Alright Dylan, you've done such a good job walking, we're going to try these stairs next. Next, so you're going to go, same pattern, let's go up to the base of the stairs. Very good. All right, now this is going to be a little bit backwards from what we've been teaching you. So you're going to go, when you're going upstairs, you go up with the good. When you go downstairs, you go down with the bad, or the involved, the painful leg. So how this will work is you're going to switch the cane over to your right side because you're going to use that rail as your real stability. So that's where you want most of your weight to be going. You still obviously will have this. So I'm going to stay here behind you um, on the stairs, just right at your side behind you, making sure that we're all safe. So you'll go up first with that left leg. Then you bring up the right and the cane. Good. Good. And we'll go over here to the side. Now, I'm actually going to switch in front of you to make sure that we're safe that way. Okay, so you're going to go this time cane first and down with that right. Uh huh. And then left. Good. Very good. Perfect. And we'll switch back. Good. Cane goes in that leg. And we can carry on our way with that right leg first after the cane. Good. Hi Dylan, I'm Lucas, I'm a student physical therapist. How's it going today? Good. Great. So what we're going to do today, we're going to get you out of bed and I'll teach you how to use this walker. Does that sound okay with you? Alright, so you have a left hip surgery, is that correct? Yeah. So I'm going to teach you three rules that you have to adhere to while we're here just so that we preserve that surgery that we did. So rule one, no hip flexion past 90, so no bending over, even in bed, not even 90 degrees. Uh, the second rule, don't cross the midline with your leg. We call that adduction, so don't cross that. And then also be careful about internal rotation with your hip. It, or crossing the legs, that's something that you want to be able to do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Awesome. 
So what we're gonna do to get out of bed, I want you to get on your elbows. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna come around. I'll support this leg. I want you to come around and then we'll come to the side of the bed here. And then scooch forward, keeping that leg straight and good. And then sit on up. And so I'll have you stand up here. Uh, I want you to lean on that right side and use that right leg. And if you want, you can put that arm there. Good. All right, so I just grabbed this walker. Can you just leave this left arm down? That's great. This is the height that we wanted at, right at the break of the wrist. So in case, this is the walker up here at the hospital, but when you go home, make sure that it's at that break of the wrist. So it's a good size. So now while we're walking, I want you to place the walker forward and then your left hip and then right. Good, I'm gonna move this and follow that same pattern. Walker, that. Good. And now I want you to turn to your right side because that's your strong side. Good. And head on back to the mat. You're good at this. Yeah, I well. was. The, the old lady at home, she's got Walker. She's been doing it for years. Oh, you're doing great. She's taught me well. And now on the way back, it's just the reverse. So with that right leg, and then left, Walker. Then right leg, left, Walker. Okay, so now on the way back down, you gotta reach with your right, and then I'll guard, and I'll make sure that that stays straight, okay? All right, I'll move this out of the way. And then same way, going back in. All right, we'll get this off and get out of here. Thanks. Hi, Dylan. I'm a student physical therapist. Today we're going to go up the stairs. Is that okay with you? Yeah. All right, I want you to walk forward here, then I'll teach you what you got to do. So you have pain in your right leg? Yep. Okay, that's good to know. One more step here. All right, I want you to move that cane into your right hand and hold on to that, that ridge right there. And on, when we're coming up here, you can turn the cane sideways. On the way up, I want you to step with your strong leg. So that's with your left leg, followed by your right leg, and then the cane. And I'll be right here the whole time. So up with the left, and then bring that right, followed by that. Yeah, and you can do it sideways. There you go. And up with the left. Good. Now I'm gonna scooch forward here. All right, and come on forward. Now on the way down, it's the opposite. So put the cane down first. And then with the left, right, and then the left. Good. And then cane, right, and one more. Good. You have any questions, Mr. Ray? I feel great. All right. Good job. Hey, Dylan. How are you doing today? Good. My name is Alex. I'm a student physical therapist here. So what we're gonna work on you today, we're gonna help sitting you up and ambulating. We heard you got some work done on your uh, right hip here. You know, how's that feeling today? Good, it was on my Oh, left hip, sorry, left, sorry, yeah. left, left. That's okay. And like, did they tell you about the precautions for the hip? Uh, they did, but I can't remember. All right, so let me go ahead and refresh your memory here. So what, we, what, what you can't do here is, you can't flex the hip up 90 degrees, you can't cross the midline of your body, and you can't internally rotate. So we're just gonna watch out for those precautions and avoid those. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have you sit up first. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and sit up on your elbows here, as you can, yep. And I'm gonna help bring your left leg off of the table and then you can go ahead and swing your right leg off also. Okay. And as you do that, you can go ahead and scoot to the, yep, head to the bed, there you go. Scoot to the up slightly. And then get those on here. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the walk up here. Close 
pops up here. So what you're going to do is you're going to shift to your right side, so that's the strong side, and you're going to go ahead and grab with your left hand here and push. You're going to push off with your right, the strong side, the right side. Okay, and we're going to support you here. There you go. There you go. And then what we're going to do here, as we ambulate here, you're going to go ahead and bring the walker out first, and then you're going to step with that weak side, and then your strong side. Okay. Yep. So what we're going to do is go ahead and turn around here. So you go ahead and turn to that right side, so it's the strong side. Then you're going to ambulate the same way back here. So go ahead and walk her first. Weak side, strong side. Then we're going to take the turn around here. Put your right side. And then the same way you got up is the same way we're going to sit down. So you're going to go ahead and reach on your right side. So keeping that leg straight. There you go. We'll go ahead and move this out the way for you. Then we'll go ahead and lay back down. So you go ahead and bring your right leg up and I'll help bring that left leg up. Then how are you feeling? How's that head feeling? That's good. Good. All right, you're all set. Good. All right, Dylan. Uh, my name is Alex. I'm a student physical therapist here. So what we're going to do today, we're going to help you ambulate up and down these stairs here. So we know you had some work done here on your right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to teach you how to go up and down that way. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to um, step. You're going to step with your good leg first. Then you're going to push up off of the cane with, on that bad one. And then when you're coming down, we're going to do the weak, the bad one first, and then and then the the cane, and then the Strong side. Okay. All right. So what I'm doing, hold you here at the gate belt and support you here. So what you want to do is you want to step with your good leg first, so that left leg. Then you can go ahead and push up the stairs. Okay. Do that one more time. Good leg. Bad one. Good leg. Bad. There you go. Doing real good. Okay? Yep. 